I recently had the opportunity to sit down with Lana Payton. Lana is the GTA Managing Partner at PwC Canada. Sheila, thank you so much for inviting me here today. Lana, in 2020, you donated generously $150,000 to form the Lana Payton Women in Finance Scholarship. And this scholarship is now benefiting a young lady at the university. So thank you. My pleasure. Lana, the example you have set with your scholarship has certainly inspired at least two other female alum that I'm working with currently that um, are engaging in new scholarships for, for our students. So it's a true honor um, to have you inspire additional help for our students. That's fantastic. And, you know, there's not, no greater news to hear that something that you do inspires others to pay it forward, right? And for me, the whole point of that scholarship, and if I think about what I was really trying to achieve, and, and if I had a call to action for other alumni or others in the community, it would be, number one, think about, it's not always just the money that you can give. And I kind of break it down in three ways, right? I look at it as the time that we have to give back, the opportunities that we have to give other people chances uh, to develop their own careers as we progress in ours. And then the third one would be financial giving. So let, let me cover those three really quickly. If I think about time, um, time is something that we all have in varying degrees. And when you're younger, maybe you have more time to peer mentor, to, to support, to coach, to mentor others, and to help grow each other's career at the same time. Believe me, you can get a lot out of coaching and mentoring uh, others. The other one is opportunity. So as you progress through your career, you don't need to be a senior leader to be able to open the door to other opportunities for other people. So think about your, your colleagues, your alumni network, and how you can help them develop those opportunities uh, the same way other people have helped you. And then the final thing is, you know, be inspired by others to give. Give what you can. You don't have to give a large scholarship if that's not what you can do right now. Maybe it's a small monthly gift. Maybe it's something um, larger as you progress. But I encourage you to give in ways um, other than just time and opportunity when you can. And if that's something that you're interested in doing, you know, call, call you, Sheila, call me and we're happy to walk you through what we're trying to do with the Women in Leadership program and, and ways that others can help. Well, that's a great, great uh, statement and I like the three key pillars that you had talked about. And I think the Women in Leadership initiative for the uh, SAF alum is getting that message out. Where can you help? What's your interest and where do you fit? And it doesn't really matter what level you're at, it's just remaining connected with the university and with your fellow alum. Absolutely, because you know if you think about what we do is we try to help each other. It's what we do. Our success isn't just about us, it's about others. And if we can help others along in that success, I think it's a great it's a great solution for everybody. And Lana, what would you say or how would you present that to others to say how do you get involved? Like these three key things, you can call myself, call yourself, but in terms of inspiration, is there anything else you want to leave us with in, in getting out to our staff network at this point? Ask, ask lots of questions, get more information. You know, the stronger we see the University of Waterloo, that's our alma mater for me. I take great pride in having a strong alma mater. And because of that, it, uh, I try to do as much as I can to stay connected with alumni, to stay connected with the university, and its success is my success. And we know that the, the power of the Waterloo brand is global because of our alumni and yeah. people like you. Absolutely. So, thank you. Thank you, Sheila. This has been great. Awesome. Thanks.